Fifth Floor No Lift, Part Two. Well, all of us can be congratulated on the victory. Well, hey, at long last, you got that apartment you've been dreaming about for so long, huh? I admit that it's a pleasure to work <laughs> with you all. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. A gift from our company. Here, give it to them. Congratulations! 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 Congratulations. We wish you all the best. Oh, have Thank a nice you. Day. Anything else? Congratulations to you again. Oh, I could hardly stand on my feet and they just wouldn't leave. I thought that they would never leave us alone. Why does no one live in reality? They want to buy an elite apartment for the price of a hut. The husband was pestering me near the coffee machine. Oh, did Well, why didn't you tell me that mm -hmm. before? I definitely would have hit the guy. Yeah, you would hit him right in the face and the deal would have been off in a heartbeat. Mm -hmm. Oh, my back hurts so much. Let's go. I'll run oh, No, down. no, stop. Follow me. Don't you understand that we're now in a crisis? It may happen that very soon we'll all have to look for a new job. But what's going on here? Anton and Seema have split up. Split up. Like, no longer business partners? Are they gonna divide the company? Ida, you didn't tell it very well. Seema got carried away with Boris. And she left Anton. And where has this, uh, intimate information come from? From here. Who cares where from? It's a fact. I noticed long ago that Boris had his eye on Seema. But I never thought that she would leave Anton for good. Anton is to blame. He should have proposed to her. But what are you talking about, huh? A marriage proposal, of course. Uh, oh, don't mind me. Hello there. Hello. Uh, hello. Anton. Yeah. We've always had an open relationship with the team, haven't we? Well, I hope so. What happened? Are you still with Seema? Oh, our office is like a, like a village where it's reported with what happened. Yes, we broke up. Are you going to divide your company now? For good? No, 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 no. The company will continue, and don't you worry. No one will be fired. And Seema and I are still friends, partners, and nothing can interfere with all of them. You have my word, okay? Uh, you have a backache? Mm -hmm. uh, get up now. I can't, uh, yeah, no. yeah, get up or I'll hit you. Okay, put your hands oh, up. Oh, be careful, please. You're fine. Breathe out, and when I count to one, two, three, please. and here we go. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. Wait, what? You're a magician? That's the truth. Take the briefcase and follow me. Ah, uh, uh, my dear friends, uh, the main task of our company is, for the current moment, to find the best apartment in the city for the Prokhorovas, all right? Well, Mr. Magician, uh, but how should we deal with the other clients? We have so many. Should we ask them to wait or perhaps recommend going to our competitors? What do you think? No, we'll do everything as usual, but what we will do is we are going to search all of the bases for the Prokhorovas first, okay? But we are limited by the price of this apartment, and it's very modest. Well, then we'll pay the difference. Within a reasonable limit, of course. Oh my god. Huh. Am I sleeping, or, or is it the beginning of dementia? Is this a charity event? The Prokhorovas aren't old or handicapped, you know? They are both young and perfectly healthy, though. Does Seema know the company's paying for their place? I don't think she'll mind. Uh, by the way, where is Seema? Is she here yet? Oh, she might be celebrating her birthday today, that's right. Oh, we'll get to work. Wait, the briefcase. You can go now. Hey, how's your back? to take a taxi here. Why is it dangerous? Oh, see how he looks at us? And you and me are together, with people around. Huh, it's even scary to think what he might do at night. What do you mean? He might kill, rob, and even rape us for all we know, dear. <laughs> no one is gonna rape you, trust me, Arena. Are you being rude now? You owe me two and a half thousand. <laughs> what have you just said? Well, as much as we agreed is all. <laughs> well, she's the one who will pay you. I'm going inside now. <laughs> well, 
ballerina. You must really have nothing to rob. You couldn't even pay the taxi. Oh, how tired I am after this awful flight. Listen, how can you be so strict and didn't manage to get any money? Hey, hold your horses. You're getting sassy. I paid you for the hotel, the flight, and the car, so you'd help me organize everything here, so try to be more polite, huh? You bought me an economy ticket, and I'm used to flying first class. <laughs> Forgive me, would you please? <laughs> Oh, I, I, I can't help it. You might have traveled first class when you were here with men whom you escorted and all that, honey, but we are on business, as you know. The economic affair. Will you get a separate suite, though? Why do you need a separate suite, huh? Ow! You hurt me! Well, good. Really, it's not like I've become a nun, you know. What a fool! We have money ahead of us and you're gonna get a few hundred from traveling businessmen? Well, I need to call. Go and arrange a suite for us. Go on. <sighs> Darling, hi, it's me. Yes, I finally arrived. I got to Moscow. What an awful hard flight it was. But I'm going to get some sleep right now and then get down to business. Will you send me your prayers for me there, okay? And you know what, little beast? If I find out that you're going out with someone there, I'll tear everything off of you. And you will fly out of my life like a cork off champagne. Have you got it, my little swallow? Arena, let's go. The sweet's ready. Kisses, kisses. Mm. Uh, uh, wait a sec. Do you remember his face? You've had so many in your life. Come on. You, you remember. You can do it. Uh-huh. Exactly at this hour, I gave birth to you. The time is gone, and we don't need this mind anymore. <laughs> Mom, that's enough. I really don't catch up with your proverbs, so you should translate. I want to say that you should have waited for Anton instead of throwing yourself to him. <sighs> and who used to say that Anton would never marry me? This is my life. And secondly, Mom, I've fallen in love. I told you that you and Anton have wasted your youth, but all advice is good for the mind. Since you had waited too many years, Anton is it. Mom, do you hear me or not? I've fallen in love. And Boris loves me and I love him. He immediately told me that we would get married. Can you just be happy for me without any of your proverbs? And what's there to be happy about? Anton is at least well off in that man. Boris, what do you know about him? That he's a subject to the English queen who won't help you? Zenaida, have you called me? No, no, not at all. Just roast the meat. Everything <laughs> else is on the table. Uh-huh. Why should I know about him? I see him, I see his eyes, and I sense his feelings. Feelings? Yes. Does he have a profession? I know he says he's an orphan. However, his face is pretty well fed for a professional orphan. He wouldn't be given change on the How train. How can you? He is well educated and intelligent. Yeah? Yeah. Where is his school? Well, I don't really know where he studied. It never even occurred to me to ask him. I know that, well, that they lived poorly with his father and that they didn't even have enough money for food to eat. Okay, don't worry. I've been worried about you for many years. And the one who was torn by the bear is afraid. <laughs> he doesn't seem to be a fool. If there is a mine, there's a ruble. If there's no mine, there's no ruble. Sima, he doesn't seem quite normal to me after all. Zenaida! Zenaida, <laughs> uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I'm asking for your daughter's hand in marriage. I love her so much, I swear to you. I will move mountains, but she will be happy with me. What is this broom in your hand? Ah, they're seedlings. Pingat and Dorstant, and they resist horrible frosts and bloom for many years. I don't have many years left to blossom myself. Zenaida, so do you agree to let your daughter marry me? Mom, can you just say if you bless us or not? And if I don't bless you, you remain stubborn and steadfast and so what? You'll be together even without my blessing. And you'll come to me once a year and only if I get sick. You won't let me raise my grandsons, so I can only agree to everything and pray that he wouldn't offend you. Oh, Mother, thank you. All right. Now let's celebrate. <laughs> Zenaida, you, you are an amazing woman. Will you let me call you Mom? Maybe in the future. 
Sticks and stones will break my bones, but names will never hurt me. I see. Hey, they haven't started the lift yet. Yeah. Why haven't they started it yet? Well, how should I know? Did you hear him? So, so smart. It's not working. Which floor are we? Ah, uh, the eighth floor. We'll get there fast, though. Ah, uh, it's fine. I'll walk. I don't see a big difference so far. We have to get upstairs by foot. No, well, these are all temporary difficulties. Actually, it'll be very convenient here. Why? Because there will be four lifts there. Uh, th that's a, a garbage disposal facility there. And have you been in this apartment? Yeah. No, I haven't. But I have seen the photos. I just don't go myself. We have agents for that, you know what I mean? But aren't you bored? Why is that? Because you wanted to be an actor. Hannah, uh, I think we shouldn't talk about this. <laughs> oh, I apologize. I'm telling you this is a big loser to a big loser, of course. Oh, I'm a loser. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but I don't consider myself a loser, so... You do. And you hide it badly. Shall we see the apartment? Sure, let's go. I don't feel very comfortable here, and there are very few trees. This is the first time I've seen someone choose because of this. Your husband doesn't care at all, does he? No, he doesn't care. I could hardly convince him. And that was the condition he was given. Oh. Yeah? I see. You don't care where you live, huh? You know, in my situation, the change won't solve anything. Oh. I don't really believe in the myth that a person can move to another country or city and everything will change. It seems to me that people don't change at all. Hmm. But don't you like yourself? Do you like yourself? I don't know. I haven't, uh, <laughs> thought about it much, you know? Well, I guess it's true. In the morning, the alarm goes off, right? You get up, and then you're like a little squirrel on a wheel, and first it's one thing, and then it's another thing entirely. In the evening, you just... You just come home. <laughs> <laughs> this is because you have money, and you're really? a well-off businessman. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> it's nice to have money, right? Uh, do you think that I'm an idiot? No, no. I just always envy those who have it because I don't have any. It's not that. <clears throat> it hasn't worked out. <sighs> as far as I understand, you you don't like it. That's right. I really don't like it. Mm. I'd like to look somewhere else if we could. Oh, of course, sure. We really need our shack sold, so you can branch out how you'd like it. <laughs> Has the Englishman really made you crazy? <clears throat> no. Seema actually left me for him. Yep. I'm sorry, I didn't know. And you're messing with me now? Well, I don't seem to be uh, crying. <laughs> and there's a... Uh... What is it? I also... am interested in being with you. Why? <laughs> what was that? I just really wanted to kiss you is all. But you're already married, you're... Yes. And when did you realize that I liked you? Immediately.
Oh, I still can't get used to the fact that you make breakfast for me. Good morning. Good morning. Drink it quickly before it's cold. I just woke up. I need to go wash my face. No! Face. No. You are disheveled. And no one has seen you like this, and you're mine. <laughs> well, then I'm not afraid of growing old. And getting fat. You should grow old, because many men are interested in you, and I will kill them all, you know. All of them. All of them. Well, I'm not a beggar, so thank goodness, right? You could at least say thank you. Right, thank you. Oh, you're Aren't welcome. we late for kindergarten? Well, we're going for a little walk instead, so no kindergarten. Is Dad coming too? Dad's asleep, so no, he's not. Let's go, shall we? Yeah, <laughs> let's go. Get in the car, please. Yes, of course, of course, I remember, yeah. yeah so <laughs> oh, well, well, we'll show you the options very soon. Of course, of course, yes. I remember. That's right, yeah. Well. Yes. Well, 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 yes, 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 of course, of course. Same to you. Have a good day. Goodbye. Yeah, have a nice What's day. your deal, Hey, bro? man, listen, huh? we're not doing anything for anyone. The whole company's working only for this orphan here. Hey, hasn't he borrowed money from you before? Yes, he has. He borrowed three times. I've also lent him money, and now I'm If you don't have enough money, you can always get a loan. I hope I have enough. I must say, it's rare a man is so versed in jewelry. Your bride is very lucky. Uh, I'm lucky to be with her, yes. I even envy her a little. No one loves me that much. Well, you wait a bit. I've waited faithfully for a long time. Is that right? Uh-huh. I just honestly can't believe you never had anyone before your bride. Well, how can I prove it to you? <laughs> No way. Therefore, you must take my word for it then, so that is it. There. Here you are. And oh. wrap it up beautifully. Of course, sir. Will you wrap mm. it? Sure thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what a cute dog. <sighs> hey, and just put your foot here. Wait, wait, come on. That's it. That's it. Just don't touch it with your hands. Wait, wait, wait. Careful, careful. Everything is fine. Well, you be careful. Well, I'm smaller. What do you want? Mom, how much do I weigh? 88. Be careful. She's running so fast. Wow, wow. Look, they're shooting a movie over there. Let's go and see. Props, Let's go. Props. Let's go. Where are the Oh, dogs? you got me. Maybe I should play Where some picturesque clouds in the sky. So, Victoria, my love, my joy, you know, I want you to vanish into this scene. Just vanish into this scene. Nikolai, you are working. You're working with the text now. Boom, 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 boom. Then a bam. Yes, I got I'll explain it. later. Yeah. The growth dolls have arrived. Oh, I'll be right there. So, what is this? These are the growth dolls. I see. Well, what did I want? You wanted growth dolls. I didn't asked you? for the embodiment of evil and horror. Lilia, they must scare the character. Ah, uh, scare her, you get it? Well, it just Can seems it scare disgusting. her? In my opinion, it can't. Well, oh, let's go. It's please. so interesting. Come on, let's go. Anton. No, thanks. Lalia, let's go now. Why don't you want to? There's no reason. 
Can I guess why? Ah, uh, while you're guessing, they'll shoot everything, so go for it. You regret that you haven't become an actor. That is why you don't ever invite me to the cinema or to the theater. Agree? Break for five minutes! Have you seen? Five this is minutes. Alex Mantis. Yes, I got it, I got it. Oh, no. Have you seen? Well, yeah. And who has seen Alex? I'll bid and it's over. When I quit the movies in the theater, I honestly didn't think that I would live in a parallel world, you know? What do you mean? Uh, we shouldn't have started this. Lolia. Here. Now tell me. When I got promoted in the company and improved my life and all that, I was sure that it was going to be temporary. I really did. I thought that the next day, they would offer me the role. And that I'd get the script. <laughs> And in fact, in the beginning, it was good. They called, and I was offered the roles, and the scripts were sent. And I would refuse. <laughs> Attention! The troop is at the device! Move it! That's an order! Are you all hearing me? And no one called Seema, right? No, she wasn't called. I think that was the main thing. She couldn't admit that you're more talented than she is. Anna, let's not raise this issue, okay? Love. It's too late. You have to love. You don't need to understand this scene. You just need to feel it. Do you understand? Victoria, my dear, my dear, you'll go. Now go and arrange with the sun yourself. I'm sorry. That's okay. My husband hasn't become successful in creative work, too, <laughs> to put it mildly, but I supported him and understood it. I also carried all the worries. Tell me something. If suddenly you were invited to star in a film, do you think you would do it? I don't know. Having a good time, right? Yeah, it's really cool. That's lovely. <laughs> You're so cute. You've reached the Seaman Company. Neva, yes. why don't you come with me and my family to St. Petersburg? What for? Hello. Well, I yes, want you to get acquainted. It's too early for that, and I have to work. <laughs> don't worry, man. She said the same exact thing to me. I know. There's a little delay with your deal, and we apologize to you. What about Proletarka? The fact is that our company is now working on a very urgent and it's important It's very order. urgent and important. Mm -hmm. And people will think we're looking for housing for a president. We need to work or else we will lose all of our clients. Ironically, the owners of our company don't give a damn about that. Oh. Anton. Anton. Good afternoon. Hello. and they are having affairs, man. Crisis or not, there is work to do. Ava, thanks for loving your work. Where is the report for the tax inspection? I'm preparing it. Do it faster. Ava, this might not be my business, but choose at last who you like the best, Mikhail or Ilya. Have a wedding, and then they might work better. Yes, that's really only my business. Hala, let the woman Ava decide for herself. We're not in a hurry. Of course. So guys, end this soap opera. Mikhail, what's with the apartment for Seema's fiancé? Uh, hello there, Boris. Boris. Hello. Oh, Boris. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Oh. Anton and Seema are working, but I can get you your tea. Tea would be great. You got Thank it. Thank you. Uh, Boris, Boris, uh, hey, when are you going to give me my money back, huh? Oh, so then it's urgent, then. Well, it's just that I have nothing left uh, in the bank, and I need to pay the interest on my car Could you wait a little bit longer? What did he say, huh? Will he pay you? No. He doesn't have it. What a scoundrel. So half of the apartment is to be paid for by Boris and me, and by you, right? Yeah. Although, as far as I understand, your boyfriend has no money, but... You're wrong, he's my fiancé. Mm -hmm. What's with you, huh? You've known him less than a month. Ha! I've known you for ages. So what's your point? You wouldn't marry me, but he's already given me a necklace and a bracelet. Mm. Oh. oh, that's nice. Yes. <gasps> Did you know that your fiancé owes everyone here? What does he owe? Money. Hard cash! He told me nothing about it. You know nothing about it? No. What the hell did he tell you, huh? What do you know about him? 
What do we know about him? All we know is that he went back to England in the 90s. Yes, as a little boy. Oh, that's right, a little boy. And then the evil mother left his father for New Zealand. A nasty woman. Yes, a nasty woman. And recently, his father died, and the last will of the man was to buy out a filthy apartment in Moscow. Look, Seema, we don't really know the guy. What else must you know about him? I would like to know where he studied, who his friends were, if he has children, if he's married, if he hasn't murdered anyone, anything, you know? Anton, are you out of your mind, dear? No, you're out of your mind. No, it's you. We don't with... need to know anything about him to get him his damn apartment. But Seema, you're going to marry him. Marry! Mary. And you're jealous. No. No, I'm not. It's just that you're a very special person to me, that's all. Hmm. Uh, Arena, when are we having dinner? You only swallowed your lunch an hour ago. Mm. Well, everything is tasty here. Don't bother me, I'm thinking, damn it. My head's reeling enough with this. Uh, Boris managed to persuade the tenants to sell him the apartment. I found the company where he's going to draw up a deal, and I've got a plan of the apartment. The plan? The plan. Mm. Mm -hmm. Is this the apartment? Mm -hmm. Well, in my opinion, it sucks. Is it worth flying to another edge of geography? I told you not to bother me, didn't I? I'm thinking. You'll get your money, and just know the rest doesn't concern you. Oh, no. It looks like this brazen creature will get it and get the apartment after all. Are you kidding me? How kindly you're just talking about your only son. And such a son deserves this attitude I'm giving. He really does. He wanted to conceal his father's death from his mom. And get the whole fortune himself, is that the son's right? My goodness. <gasps> Listen, but Boris told me that you actually left him when he was a little boy and that you flew to New Zealand. Was he lying? I didn't leave him alone. I just uh, left his father, that idiot. Oh my God, oh my Lord, forgive me for what I'm saying. May he rest in peace. Hold on, it's your fault. Uh, uh why are what? you pretending to be Stop some kind it. of no. white-winged angel Stop or it, something? Stop it, Arena. Don't you touch me. I can't touch you. What did you do to my son is what I'd like to know. Huh? You just duped him. You made him fall in love with you, completely ripped him off, and disappeared in an unknown direction. I'm not his mother. I am just a mistress. Uh -huh. And the mistress can leave when she wants to. But the mother... The mother should love. But of course, you're right, it's not my business. You'd better explain why you searched for me all over London. Don't you understand? No. <sighs> Boris is offended by me more than I think. Maybe he doesn't want to talk to me at all. And everything is not so gloomy with you. Well, you'll come and tell him. <laughs> Dear Boris, I've always loved you. You are my only... My only happiness, and I love you forever. <laughs> well, somehow, being very warm and fuzzy. Wow, that's gross. Listen, isn't it time for dinner? Oh. <sighs> I will be deducting your gluttony from my fee. And furthermore, you'll also be paying half of this suite. What in the world could be taking them so long, huh? Well, they're working. People have to work sometimes. Uh, now drink your tea. I'm drinking. It's tasty? No. Oh, it's Thames. My God, I know this dog. The Thames is the name of the river. Oh, are you serious? Thank you, I didn't know. No, Thames is the dog that lived with my neighbors in London. I asked them for a puppy, but she hated males, so, you know. Boris, 
Well, did you happen to live in this area? Wait, didn't you say that you and your father both lived in some dump? Yeah. This is impossible. I'm annoyed. How can they sit in the office so long? I'll knock. Hello? Hello. Hello. What are you doing here? Hello? Oh, my dear friends. I would like to invite all of you to my wedding with dear Sima. <laughs> <laughs> is this some kind of joke? Or what? And if you have any suggestions for where we'll hold it, it is very welcome. That's Congratulations. <laughs> uh, why, thank you. What a good idea. <laughs> it's great. It is a yes. bit unexpected. <laughs> You've been running all day. Sleep. Well, I'm waiting. What are you waiting for? I am waiting for you to explain to me why you spent so much time with Anton and why he gave Lalia those gifts, huh? Anton's helping me get an apartment. You know that perfectly, so stop. What, what the... As for the gifts, it's not forbidden, and a normal man's happy to offer them. Let me get this right. You're reproaching me again for not making money. <sighs> Listen, aren't you tired of this I'm sick of it. I'm sick of the fact that you're always sitting at home and you think it's normal. Uh, uh, and the fact that I once resented this is claptrap, right? Uh, listen to me. <sighs> you are behaving now like a banal idiot. I thought that you of all people understood the nature of creativity. <laughs> I understand the nature of creativity, but I think that a creative person shouldn't have a family and children. He should venture out once in a while and provide. That's enough. That's enough. <sighs> Enough. I am ashamed of you. And I'm ashamed of you. And even more of myself, because I'm doing all sorts of nonsense to support the family. Well, open the door, at least. Well, hello? Uh, hello to you. Uh, a thousand apologies. Uh, the fact is that we've come to see, uh, well, an apartment and your neighbors aren't home. Yeah. And what? Uh, uh, sir, will you be so kind to let us look at your apartment if you don't mind? I mean, it's exactly the same. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, 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 of course, come in. Only uh, keep quiet because uh, our child's sleeping. Hello there. Uh, I mean, How can I help you? Uh, yeah, <clears throat> these people really want to see our apartment here. Why is that? Uh, uh, the thing is, we are going to buy your neighbor's apartment, but there's mm -hmm. no one there now to show us the inside. Yeah, yeah, and we have exactly the same apartment. Maybe, yes. I didn't know they were selling as well. Well, come on in, you'll see it. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thanks. <laughs> Well, uh, so tell me, do you trust your mother? Uh, of course I do. Well, yeah, a girl like you is not likely to like our shack. <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, but what is a shack? <laughs> well, that's actually what you're standing in. Ah. Oh. We're leaving here soon, and there's another apartment, and... It might not be interesting. It's not interesting. Well, and what are you interested in? I'm interested in the nightclubs. Hmm. What's stopping you? No escort. A girl like you doesn't have any gentlemen? I can accompany you. Hmm? Okay. I'll wait downstairs for you. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry my bad.
Dennis. Dennis! Uh. She's prying and locked herself in the bathroom now. Uh. Once the teeterants want to sell the apartment, we can help then. What? Well, Anna, Anna, let's not quarrel. Don't worry, okay? I mean, have you fallen out of love with me? What are you talking about Anna, right now? Anna, I'll never let you go anywhere. Dennis, I'm not going anywhere. Don't you? Wait, wait. I have no idea about the novel. I'll think it over and come back. I'll be back soon, too. Dennis, uh she's... Excuse me, are you all right? Uh, uh, uh well, uh, I'm so sorry, uh, uh, but I felt a little dizzy out of nowhere. <laughs> uh, no. Maybe your blood pressure has dropped. I can bring some coffee. No, no, it's okay. I think I'm fine now. Oh, I'm terribly embarrassed now that such uh, wonderful uh, people as yourself are so worried. Uh, yes, I'll soon be gone. Well, would you like some Valium? Uh, no. Oh, that's sweet. You are such nice people. Uh, it, it's fine. I'm leaving soon. Are you gonna leave at last? Just a second, my darling. I see. What are you doing in there? You're going to smash my apartment up, do you hear me? Ouch, 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 ouch. Anton, it's me. What are you doing? Yeah, I've been waiting for your call. Why haven't you called? Well, since I have no romantic experience with married women, I could call you and you'd be in bed with him. My husband's out. I have a problem. Some woman came to see my apartment and she's been locked in the bathroom for two hours. Wait, but I don't understand. Why is she there to look at your apartment? Well, they want to buy our neighbor's apartment and they came to ours because it's the same and they weren't home. Anna, 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 calm down. I'll be right there, okay? We're to try to talk to her. She seems to be out of her mind. Who's here? Madam, what are you doing? Um, uh, yes, hi. I'm almost done in here. I just have stayed behind to fix a broken light is all. But I promise that I'll be right out. She keeps saying the same thing to me. Madam, I don't mean to be rude, but you have no right to look at someone else's property. Come out at once and we'll I repair the light, all right? The, uh, uh, the light. I'll kick it down. Don't kick the door. <laughs> be careful. <laughs> Oh, sorry. my God! Yeah, man! What, what do you mean? Why are you leaving my apartment, No, you, leave this, apartment, no, you, you get better off. get off of me! Don't play no. my jacket, it's rather expensive! I, I, I said, need the walls! Get out! The walls There's are the nothing good in the house! Get don't out of here quickly! Me. Stop! Go, call the police! Me. Get out! Don't touch me! Get out! I'll call the police! I'll call them Why are you doing this, woman? Get out! Right now! Come on! This is crazy! Get out! Out, I said! I can't believe at my age that I have to shout that! Well, she was stubborn. What was that about? I don't know. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she stomped all over my shoes. You have a brush? <laughs> yes, and thank you. It would be nice to fly with you to the sea. I can imagine you in a bikini. So is that possible? That's great. Book a hotel with five stars in Nice. Buy a ticket and let's well, fly. Look, I'm afraid that's all a bit too expensive for the likes of me. I believe a girl can be with me only for great love, understand? And I say Nice is five stars and I'll be with you for love. <laughs> You're a miracle. <laughs> Listen, 
Have you ever had an affair with a poor guy whom you just liked? Or is it just not your style? Bring me a cocktail. Huh? A cocktail is what I want. cocktail you have in this dump? What? Which cocktail is the least? What'd you get me? The best cocktail. Just one. Make it snappy. Uh, Go. Uh, Cosmo, please. Okay. And I'll have a water, and that's all. You got it. Uh. Well, I had an affair with this one guy that I liked. I liked him very much. He was 21 years older than me. I lived in St. Petersburg. But that was a while ago. Tell me, what happened next? <laughs> what was next? Well, he sold me to his friend for a thousand bucks, and he took me to London and decided to leave me there. <laughs> yeah, that was the first and last love affair of my life. <laughs> Listen, I'm a bit tired. Take me to the hotel. Do you have a car? No. Then call a taxi. Listen, maybe we could take a walk and taxi? We... Yeah. Ah, so tell me, what's so unusual about your apartment? What's so unusual? That's right. It's a dump. The ceiling leaks and the walls are crooked. Why you ask? I don't know. It's just that I don't need this apartment even as a gift, but my mother is dreaming about getting it. Oh, is that right, huh? Is there anything else? <laughs> well, yes, there's some moron from abroad. He also needed our hovel for some reason unknown. <laughs> Look, maybe you don't know anything. Maybe some celebrity lived there before. Celebrity? We bought it from an elderly woman and she moved out of town to breathe some fresh air. Oh my god. <laughs> In short, nothing is clear. The taxi will be here very soon. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> well, peace out. <laughs> hey, listen, are you into me calling you or what? Calling me? As soon as you get rich, call me anytime. Five stars. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Is that enough for it? It's the first time I left Laliel alone. Yeah? <laughs> then I'll let you go right now. <laughs> we found each other so strangely, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very strangely, but I found you. Are you afraid that your daughter's alone instead of your husband catching us? I'm not afraid. Ugh, you can't even imagine what I had to go through. I didn't find anything, I tell you, jerk. I didn't know. I didn't have nearly enough time in there. Ugh, they drove me out of the apartment, my god. Yes, so for today the results are zero and Boris will get an apartment soon and then everything will be over. Then it will be easier to have him killed and then to have them dragged from the apartment. You were right, and right all along too. Don't forget that I love you. Well... Prokhorova. <laughs> Haven't I completely not forbidden you to come to my company? I'm not in your company. I'm just near it. Mm. By the mm -hmm. column. Doesn't that belong to your company? The column doesn't. Who are you here for? Pray tell me, please. For you. Yeah? Sorry, that won't fly, lovely. 
My dear, I'm now married, see? <laughs> Didn't you hear about it? I did and hear. The bloodhounds from your publishing company were in the way of my wedding. Can you believe yes, that? Yes, Those yes, yes. I saw very beautiful pictures, and the bride's dress was mm. not so cheap. Mm. Well, so then why have you come here? You can't get any hot facts about me now, so why are you here? But why say that? You said get, and it's all evident. Oh, what's so evident? <laughs> the belly, Shakira Yova. It's sticking out. And who else from your company knows? So far, no one. This is, so to speak, my personal initiative. Just a second. Here it is. Mmm, that's not convincing. I'm just next to a pregnant actress, that's all. Well, I'll just turn up the sound a little. Mm. Please, I beg you, well, don't be hysterical. There are people around. Well, I beg of you, please don't be nervous. Our son will be born. I'll call him Ignat after my grandfather. I'll send you to give birth in England, all right? Everything will be fine. You'll live there and- Turn that off now. You're really something. I should have sent Chiquita Yova from here long ago. How much do you want? What do you mean? You know yeah. quite well that I don't take money. Well, I know. Uh-huh. Yeah. I don't understand what the hell you're doing in this nest of vipers. Look, I, I have a request. I am damn you for this. Tell me what you want. Give a role to one actor in one of your films, and it can be any of them. And that's all? That's all. I can get off that easily. Yes, you can. Does he have, like, three eyes? Two. Is he untalented? He's very talented. It's true. Oh, very. <sighs> You're in love with him, aren't you? <sighs> but you two are married, right? Well, it's not for me to judge. Just give him my phone number. an idiot. <laughs> what are you doing up? And what time is it? Uh, it's still early. Go back to sleep. The apartment is complete crap. Hmm. I mean, are you really ready to screw your own son over hmm. it? Well, no one is going to screw anyone. I don't need this dirty apartment at all. I have a house on the ocean shore, but I just have something very personal connected with this apartment, and, well, it's just deeply personal for me. Personal? Um, I mean, yeah. did you sleep with Boris's father for the first time then? <laughs> Listen, <laughs> do you really think that everything in the world revolves around whether you have even slept with someone or not? Whoa. <laughs> well, okay, you can think as you need because many things are more serious. I managed to get a copy of the documents for the sale of the apartment, and it turns out that my dunce is just, <laughs> it's about to move right in there. When are you meeting up with him? At a restaurant tomorrow. Give me some money. It's your son's style not to pay. I will give you the money. Yes, you will get everything as we agreed, but I just expect you to show all your talent somehow there. Surely you can, right? Yeah, that's my girl. I know everything. <laughs> well, bring him here and I can leave. Or take him to the country for a few days or um, maybe to the sea. That's the best. Oh, yes, the sea. Oh, the sea is always the best. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. The money? Huh? <laughs> Here you are. <laughs> Will you do your best? I'll try to. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, yeah. Uh, but what if he falls in love with me and wants me to marry him? Well, you should, and don't hesitate. Uh, wait a minute. You consider me a whore, but you are ready to give me to your son? Yes. <laughs> you know, if he doesn't marry you, he'll marry someone of the same kind after all. <laughs> the thought is the same. Get him to marry you and take him far, far away from here. You know? Yes, it's good that I can't have children. I wouldn't like to hate my child so much. Why aren't you able to have children? I mean, you're so young. Mm. It's a mistake of youth. I've made many of those. For you, oh no. But mine aren't so numerous as yours. Oh, pow. Well, was I wrong? I was wrong, right? Is it just an expensive fake? Yes? I was mistaken, it's just an expensive fake? Yeah. The fact is it's not just an expensive watch. This company issued only 10 such watches five years ago, and one, as far as I know, was donated to the Prince of Monaco, and the rest were sold at a rare auction. I'm even afraid to assume the price of this watch. I think it's very high. This watch is so great. Where did he get this watch? How could he earn it if he's always lived in poverty? Or what? Might he have stolen it? My God, who have I fallen in love with? Who do I sleep shut with? Shut up! Shut up! Who am I getting married to? Shut up! Quiet, there are people working here. So I don't Well, care. maybe you should. We just believed it all somehow too quickly, huh? Yes, because at first he was a client for us, Anton. But now everything is all messed up. He's always talking to me about this big love, and he makes plans for life, but I know that he's lying to me. I don't know. Anton! Try to calm down. We need to put our thoughts in order here. Ah... Uh, well, I think you should find out first who Prokhorova bought his apartment from. From Boris's grandmother. Exactly. I want to talk to her to see if she's still alive. Mm. You should be more careful with How him. can I be careful All if right. I'm head over heels in love? You should be more cautious, though, you know. Anyway. Uh, hello? Yeah. Who? Uh, yeah, I guess. I can't. I'll send the mail right now. Thank you so much. Well, what happened? Hey. Anton, but why are you so pale? Are you okay? Hmm. Has anything happened? Uh, no. But you don't want to tell me? No. Oh, I see. Seema. What? I just got called to an audition. Come on. Right now? Well, I think that's cool. You've been waiting for so long. 30 years. <laughs> Woo! I've always known that you'd have everything because you're a great actor. You knew, but you always said to forget it and just do business, right, Seema? Yes. <laughs> well, you'd be on the set all the time and I'd be at home. I was jealous of you. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not too late? Too late for what? The cinema. Ah, for that? Mm. It's never too late for that. Yeah. It's never too late. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 it's calm here. 
My neighbors help me, and nearby there's a church. I sold the apartment because it was on the fifth floor without a lift, and it became difficult for me to go upstairs. So then, don't you have any relatives around? Well, how can it be that a person has no relatives? Just some relatives forget their family members. It's okay, no one is guilty of it, because every person is to blame for their own solitude. But you had a son. Why do you say had? I have one. He's been in England for years. Uh, and does he visit you? He hasn't visited me since he left. Well, I say that I am to blame for it. I had a quarrel with him, and I showed him the door. Well, I was stupid and couldn't forgive. And what did he do that was so wrong? He didn't do anything wrong to me. What he did was to other people. He began pursuing money and became friends with bandits. Then he became one. Well, it was very embarrassing for me to look people in the eye. Well, but why are you asking me all of this anyway? Don't you just sell apartments? Yes, but you see, we are just selling the apartment where you used to live. And uh, we just want to find out if everything was legally formalized. Oh, well, yes, it was legal. <laughs> I worked as an accountant for all my life. And of course, you better believe I checked mm -hmm. everything. It is good there, and I did not sell the apartment for a very long time because I wanted my son to come to inherit it. <laughs> if he returns, I'd want my grandson to live in his homeland. I loved him so. I loved my grandson. He was such a nice boy. Little Boris didn't want to leave. He wanted to stay with me. But who will listen to a child? I haven't seen him since then. Boris turned to our company with the task of helping him buy an apartment. If not this one, then another one. So why did he tell us so many lies? Don't you get it yet? He didn't even know his own grandmother was alive or not, all right? No, 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 no. He needs only the most filthy apartment in the city. Maybe he's just crazy, I don't know. Maybe he's sick. Anton, you're talking about the man that I'm in love with. Well, crazy people are also loved, Seema. Just take him to church. Not that, it's not that. Watch and other conversations don't add up with all of this. And now this grandmother said that his father was a bandit? Boris is a normal, kind, and gentle person. Listen, no one made a lot of money in the 90s without any crime. All right, it's not about that, okay? But just be careful with him, please. The documents are almost formalized now. He'll move in and then we will see. Just calm down. I don't get why you left me for someone so complicated. Boris. What? I want to know about you. You know all about me. Like I love you, I'm with you and always will be. So you don't lie? Well, let's say. Where did you go yesterday? Their American delegation arrived. I helped with interpreting. I also paid off some debts. That's it. The ship of acted as a victory. We're already in the bag, Captain. You shouldn't have acted as a victory. We're already. Hello there. Acted as a victory, we're already in the bag, and you should return. You. you, you may enter. Uh huh. <laughs> well, you said you'd hang yourself if I left you. I survived. As you see. 
How do I look? Gorgeous. As always, nothing has changed. How did you find me? <laughs> and since when do I tell you the truth? <laughs> yes, you're right. What do you need? Have your feelings for me left? That's not it. I don't even understand how I could have suffered. You want to say something nasty? I want to, but I'll refrain. Yes, you're a bit worn, Mr. Semichev. You don't look like a golden boy anymore. And I'm not golden. Have you spent all your millions? I have. Yes. Mm -hmm. In London, they say that you acted like a fool. Is that the case? I don't know. What else? Well, they all say that after your father died, you found out where he had money from and flew off the handle and wasted all the money he'd left you. And now you're completely bankrupt. Is it gossip? It's none of your business. So what do you want from me? Really? Yes, really. <sighs> this is the only country where women take beggars as husbands. Well done! You've come here not in vain. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know that you won't even sneeze for free. So why do you need me? Boris, look, I'm not as bad as everyone thinks. Well, I doubt that's true. It's true. Okay, I'll tell you. I'm in Moscow and was brought by your mother. What is she doing here? Oh, you'll see. But she hasn't come for you. She wants to take your apartment, and that's final. <laughs> Why does she need an apartment? That I don't know. It's none of my business. Irina told me to take you away from Moscow and even paid for it. Look, this is all that she gave me. And I don't need it. If the apartment is the last thing you have, you know. Well, now you know everything. You should take care of your mother. Oh, the address is in there. Well, goodbye. Well, what do you think of him? Where did you find him? I just found him. What's the difference? I was asked for him by one person. What kind of person? Look, I asked you to give him an audition. Tell me, is he good for you or not? At least for an episode. What episode? Can't you find an episode for the actor in eight series? I say it's important for me that you shoot him, all right? Don't you get it? I don't get it. I don't get why I should take such a cool actor to do the episode. Plus, we found the protagonist. Are you kidding? I'm not kidding you. I haven't met such naturalness for a long time. Hold on, is he really that gifted? Oh, yes, he is. Who knows where he came from? He graduated as well, so why don't I know him? Such assistance must be given the sack. My business is to count money. But I immediately knew that this guy is just what we need, I'm telling you. Excuse me, but can I go? Where are you going? Come over here, and we'll sign the contract. What do you mean? <laughs> Anton, please read the script once more, and okay. pay attention to the lead role. And Anton, uh, Anton. Well, thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. And you won't regret this. Oh, uh, yeah, it's very unexpected for me, and frankly speaking, yeah, it's see. been a long time, you know, so I'm a little... Oh, you don't uh, say. When you see Anna again, give her my thanks for such a gift. Anna... Prokhorova? That's right. Do you know each other? Yeah, you could say that. Uh-huh. Wait, uh, Did Anna get me this thing? Didn't you know that? For the drywall. Huh. Oh. Lisa. Well, have you forgotten the key again after all? You're such a nuisance. Oh. Ah. Uh. Uh, well, hello there. Uh, uh, yes, hello, son. We haven't seen each other for a long time. I thought I would see you when Dad became ill. 
I meant to visit him, son, yes. Yeah. And then I just imagined the dirty looks of all those people who'd be there and... <laughs> like I was the first wife who got divorced from her husband. Mother, he waited for you. He waited? <laughs> well, he also left me penniless. Mm-hmm. Do you also think it was fair for him not to mention me in his will? When you left us, you sued, so he left everything to me. So why are we talking about money? Oh, Mother, we haven't seen each other for such a long time, you know. Well, that's your fault. It's yeah. you who didn't come to me. Yes, I know New Zealand is far away, but if you really wanted to see me... I didn't want to see you. Oh, how cruelly you said that to me. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Do you know why my father died? Because you betrayed him. He didn't want to live, so why are you here? I'm on business here. Am I in the way of your business? Why did Lisa need to take me away? She's so useless. What is this? Lisa gave me the money. Can you stop lying to me? Don't be rude to me. Mom, but why the apartment? Your ring is more expensive than that. And why do you need it, huh? You took me away when I was only nine. And I asked you not to, and I asked you to leave me with Grandma, but you didn't want to do that either. Oh, I don't want to listen to these tearful plaintive stories. I only asked you why you needed your grandmother's apartment. Well, because I want to go back and start my life and pick it up from where you cut it off. With the money that your father left you, you can buy any apartment in this city. There's only enough left for it. I don't understand. What did you do with the money? Answer me, you Lisa bastard. Lisa told me you need the apartment for two days. Take it. You can keep it and I'll change the locks after. Goodbye. Where is Grandma buried? Uh, what? Where is Grandma buried? Nowhere, dear. What do you mean by that? Uh, she's alive and she lives in the village. So it looks like it's going to be possible to cram not only your sofa, but the whole furniture factory. The kitchen, in my opinion, is also very good, and Lalia's room is huge. She can ride a bicycle in there, believe me. Anna, do you like it? Why are you so silent? This is for you. Yes, I really like the place. Well, what are you thinking, then? Uh, I'm thinking about the fact that I have a few days. A few days for what? For happiness. Mm. We'll move here, and Boris will move into my apartment. And I won't have a reason to see you. Will I? Well, I suppose you're right. You know, while I was getting the, uh, um, the documents with the registration, I kept arguing with them about why they'd been working for, uh, for so long. And I thought to myself, are you kidding? I'm getting closer to the moment when it could be wrong to call you. But what if I am waiting for your call? For now. wife. He's the father of your child and all that. Yes, and we have no way out of all this mess. Well, no, there's absolutely no good option here. Uh, you see, it's fine for us and it's bad for uh, Lalia and, well, bad for him and everything remains the same for them. And, and you and me, well, at least me, I feel absolutely hopeless and there are so many theorems that mathematicians, hush, they, they can't prove. They, they put hush, their whole quiet, lives quiet, and they quiet, die. Quiet, and, quiet. And they, since we'll never see each other again, I have to confess something, if you'll let me. Do it. 
I know you've been approved for the main role, and that's because of me. Yeah, I know. But how? Yeah, I, I know. You helped me with that. <sighs> and when I found out, I, I wanted to kill you. I just never let a woman humble herself because of me. But then... Then I thought to myself, you're not just any woman. It's my Anna, who understands me and helps me. You didn't know me. You didn't at all. Don't you want to strangle me now? No. Now I can say that in this room, for one evening, I was actually happy. <laughs> Are you exchanging? Uh, no, 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 I don't need to exchange, no. Uh, could you just check it if, if it's fake? We only exchange here, go to the bank. Uh, listen, man, will you just check and I'll, I'll pay you, really, I promise. Just, just do that for me, please. Oh. Well? So what's the word? None of this is fake. You're quite lucky. You should go to the bank, exchange the money. It's not far. Uh -huh. Now you can keep it. Will you try it on? No. Oh, I got it. Well, hello. Uh, hello. Sir, here is exactly the same jacket, only at a discount. Uh, would you like it? Uh, no, you could just take all of it for me. But don't you want to try them on? Uh, no, because they're my size. But listen, it's better to try them on. It'll prevent any returns because they are expensive. I can hold your bag for you, Yo, sir. Don't touch me. Don't touch my bag, please. Just take them up to the front. Uh, wow. Sure, it's not stolen? You just asked me a no. Well, where on earth did you get so much cash from? Maybe I found a treasure. Well, and why did you bring me here? I'll go to Peskov to my relatives. And there. And no one is looking for us, right? <sighs> Nobody will look for us. I'll. I'll uh, introduce you to my parents. Then we'll go wherever you want to. I want to go to Goa. <sighs> well, that's up to you to decide. Mm -hmm. To go, uh, and then when we get bored, we'll fly to the Caribbean. <laughs> the Caribbean. 
Hold on, it just hit me now. The money was from your apartment. Uh, shh, shh, shh. Quiet, 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 quiet. Promise that you won't say that again, okay? I promise. Ah, it's a treasure. <laughs> it just came to me out of nowhere, and I knew it belonged to me, huh? I get it. So she knew that there was money in there. That's Boris right. didn't know anything about it. Who is she? Just a woman, don't worry. <laughs> Hold on. I want you. Did... I want you. Did you leave some money to your wife and daughter? <clears throat> you should. <clears throat> Tell me, <clears throat> do you want to be with me? Of course I do. Then there is still one condition. I'll do it. You'll go ahead and transfer some money to your wife. Then I'll go and transfer some money uh, to my wife. Yes. And then I'd like to see the bank receipt. Um, yes, I will. Will you wait for me? Yes, of course. Uh, okay, I'll go. Go on. Uh, no, wait. You shouldn't carry the entire amount with you. Ava asked me not to call her anymore. Me too. We'd been waiting for her to choose, and she refused us. And both at once. Well, who's this? I have no idea. Hello there. Is there anything I can help you with? No, thank you. Turn to the marriage agency. The huh. case of the apartment on the fifth floor is now closed. So let the London orphan move elsewhere, and the Prokhorova family, in my opinion, got an excellent apartment, which fell on them just from the sky. In general, everyone is happy. Everyone can just sing and dance. Yes, this past month has been so messed up. Our bosses split up, Seema found a new fiance, Anton is heartbroken, everybody can sing and dance though. And drama? Drama. Yes, cheers to drama. Yes? Uh, do you have the documents for the Usening project? Everything is ready. Ava will come now, seal it, and I'll bring it to you. You're perfect. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Mm -hmm. Well, you and I, at our beautiful ages, can only watch the romances <laughs> of the youth now. Oh. oh. Ida, wait. Mm. Where's Ava? Well, I don't know. And you should get busy with your own affairs. Excuse me, what business do you have here, sir? It's personal. Oh, hello. Excuse me, where is Anton? He is busy at the moment. Can I take a uh, message? Yes, tell him that my husband's ran off on me, if you would. Well, he just left a note and disappeared. He Now he's gone. Well, I'm so sorry. Yes, miss. Thanks. Your deal is already closed. I'm also very sorry, but you can do something only through the what court. What court? What are you talking about? Everything is great, so please just call Anton and that's it. Hurry, please. As you wish. Yes. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. Is she here? Hi. to my fiancé. Oh, my blood pressure seems to have increased from all this romance. I 
decided to spend my whole life with you, and you have chosen to lie to me. At first, I needed a real estate agent, do you understand? I came up with this whole story that I am a poor, unhappy immigrant, so that Anton, and you would pity me and would help me buy this apartment. Well done, you sure got our sympathy. Well, I'm sorry. Listen, I feel like I've been here. We need to go straight. So you're the... actual heir of a big fortune, I take it? Well, there is no fortune. Why not? There just isn't. Dad hid it when he earned the money. How did he earn it? Well, it's dirty money. I started digging this whole story along with a lawyer, and everything became clear to me. I'm economically well-versed. Well, what did you do? Nothing. I just gave it away. <laughs> to whom? The Queen of England? I transferred it to where my dad was born. To a small city on the Volga. There wasn't even a hospital there. So did you really do it? I did. To make it easier for dad. So where are we going? To see my grandmother, she's alive. <laughs> are we going to Antonia? But how do you know her? Why didn't you tell me? Listen, I've brought two bags from my garden for your fiancé. Uh-huh. Well, why not? Vitamins, vitamins. Huh? So how could you, a real estate agent, find him such a, a small apartment with no lift? I barely managed to get everything upstairs. Well, I'm glad I can go home now. Uh-huh. Uh huh? Yeah? Who's here? Answer who you are, or I'll call the police now and you'll go to prison. Help. Help. Help, Help me out of here, lady. Uh -huh. You might want to throw that crowbar away from you first. Uh, uh, come, come on. Give me your hand, would you? I can't get out from here by myself. Well, I will need you to explain something. Uh, Cause I don't doubt you'll hit me in the head. No, no way. No, no. I'm the mother. 
I'm the mother of Borisemichev. Uh, you oh. know, the owner of this apartment. Well, that means we are almost related. Uh, Your son is marrying my daughter, oh. so that means we are in-laws. Uh, uh, just help me, sister-in-law. I was going up the ladder and fell. Just hold on. The one who takes everything at the same time won't achieve anything. Now I must think about how not to hurt I've been you. lying here for three hours. I can't take it anymore. Please, will you help? Come on. Uh, please. Uh, oh. Oh. Come on, you can do it. Or I'll have to call no, your son. No, 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 please don't call my son. We don't need my son here. No. Uh, come on. Oh, what? Uh, Why did you climb up there on the ladder? Uh, oh, uh, oh. 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 oh, gently. Oh. Hold on. Oh. Hold on. Uh, do you know the folk uh, wisdom? Uh, the one who wants more will surely uh, lose his uh, shirt. Oh, oh, that was very painful. Uh, no, but it shouldn't be so tight here. Uh, how is it? You're beautiful. <laughs> Well, it's clear. This dress isn't for me, so find another. Seema, really, it's a beautiful dress, though. I don't know, Anton. Look at this stupid bow. It's a great bow. You asked for my opinion, so there it is. Well, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. You better go and visit your pretty woman. <laughs> mm. Boris, I need to hide from him. Don't let him okay. see. Uh, Miss, yeah. you've already tried everything on. Find me more, then. Well, how is she? Don't go in, all right? She'll freak out. <laughs> Especially since the groom shouldn't see the bride's dress first. So? Uh, hey, Lalia! Huh? How's your mom? Mommy's chosen the prettiest dress in the whole world. Really? Don't you look, please. Okay. Your bride has such wonderful taste. Uh, thank you. Lalia, go help your mother. Uh, Excuse hello? me. No. May we take your photo? Yeah. Stop uh, it. If he's an actor, it doesn't mean that you can bother him. Come on, he's waiting for his bride. Yeah. Girls, take care of me okay. first, please. Anton will uh, give everyone an autograph and, and later. Help her, help, thank you, yeah. Uh, yeah, thank you. Well, you see the zipper stuck. We'll find another one. Oh. I wish I could take this off. And here we have a cloak of invisibility. Get up. We can't see you now. <laughs> Well, have you chosen a dress? Well, sort of. Finally, uh, you yeah, have. Yeah. <laughs> Just don't say that it's white. Why not? <laughs> oh, yeah. It'll be weird if we're wearing the same dress. <laughs> See, it's fine. We'll be in different registry offices. Oh, what? Which one what are you? That? We're in Grybo Yadovsky's. We're also in Grybo Yadovsky's. But what date? On the 15th. Well, there you have it. <laughs> what? What do you mean on purpose? No, wait, 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 it'll be fun. Yes. It'll be fun, you guys. Hey, guys. I don't want to be in one. Just wait. 